Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For today's recipe it's all about beautiful tomatoes that I pulled from my garden recently that will be turned into these incredible sweet stewed tomatoes with aromatics and garlic. I'll be pairing them with some super simple garlic toast but the uses for these are absolutely endless. With all that said, let's get started with the recipe. For this recipe, I'm stoked to use my very own tomatoes because A, I know exactly where they come from, and B, I've allowed them to almost overly ripen for this particular recipe. Still good fresh with a little salt, but are really stellar when cooked down. So the first thing on the agenda is to core out the hard bit of the tomato where it meets with the vine. After that, I'll be quickly blanching them in boiling water for about a minute or until you just start to see the skin of the tomatoes split. When that happens, remove the tomatoes from the water and either shock them with ice water or allow them to cool on a large tray like I'm doing. If you're gonna use them uh, for a cold application, then ice water is definitely the way to go since it will stop the cooking process immediately, yielding a firmer tomato. Once the tomatoes are peeled and sliced in half, you're gonna get a large pan or rondo like I'm using on medium heat, add a good splash of olive oil to it and start to fry some garlic for about two minutes or until it gets really tender. Then start adding the tomatoes cut side down. Season with salt, fresh cracked black pepper and a few sprigs of picked thyme leaves. Then cook them for five minutes on the stove until they really start to sizzle. After that, put the pan into an oven that's set to 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 to 45 minutes. The longer you go, the sweeter. The shorter the cooking time, the more juicy and tart the tomatoes will be. While those are baking away in the oven, getting beautifully sweet and sticky, bring a small pan with a few scoops of butter to a simmer, then add in some chopped garlic along with oregano and thyme, then cook for about a minute and take it off the heat. Brush each slice of bread with a decent amount of the garlic herb butter and give them a good sprinkle of crumbly parmesan over the top and the sides. Bake the garlic bread under the broiler or a very hot oven for about two to three minutes until golden brown. Now that the garlic bread is done and I believe the tomatoes are done cooking in the oven, remove them and let them cool down for a minute or so so it's a little bit easier to handle and it is time to plate this up. So for the plating, it's pretty simple stuff here. Uh, first goes down the garlic bread, then a few of the stewed tomatoes uh, just put right on top. Fresh basil for a nice little garnish, a drizzle of the uh, tomato drippings from the pan, and some fresh cracked black pepper to finish. And that's it, very simple stewed tomato garlic toast. Alrighty, wow this looks good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my take on this uh, tomato confit or stewed tomatoes, uh, tomato conserva, really whatever you want to call this. There's lots of names for it, but to me this is some simple old stewed tomatoes with garlic and some herbs, beautiful garlic parmesan toast, and just a very simple recipe, but um, a lot of love and attention uh, were paid to the tomatoes. So I'm going to dive in, tell you guys uh, how it is, and run through the flavors. A little bit of the uh, basil. Man, I mean, it's like this beautiful, sticky, reduced tomato with that like sweet garlic flavor. Mmm. Wow. You know, it's really important, at least for me, to have that garlic on the toast as well. It just adds to the richness. 
and there's the tomatoes can be just a little acidic even though they're pretty sweet after they've been cooked down all those sugars were reduced i still have a tinge of that acidity and the the garlic is really sweet it's a beautiful balance i mean i could see this on a big old piece of focaccia or a toasty like soft baguette done the same way you know you can get really fancy with this dish mm. Super good, so easy to make, and is a really good utilization of tomatoes, especially if you're growing tomatoes. We have 10 or 12 plants right now, so we have a ton of tomatoes coming off the vines. And uh, other than canning them, making marinara, tomato sauce, things like that, this is a great way to cook them down and just to reduce those flavors. And if you don't wanna use these, you can just you know blend them up and they're a really good tomato sauce, just as is. Actually, uh, you know, like one of the best tomato sauce these would be great just scattered on a pizza with like anchovies, chopped olives, herbs, burrata, mozzarella. Oh man, you can go crazy. So hope you guys enjoyed my take on um, the stewed tomatoes with garlic bread. Like I said, super simple ingredients, just uh, a little bit of time spent and you can get something. You can really pull a lot of the flavor and specialness out of a tomato um, in this way. Subscribe to my channel if you guys enjoy what I do here. Drop a comment down below letting me know what other videos you'd like to see. Um, especially with Veggie Week, lots of ideas there. The recipe will be all the way down in my description box all the way at the bottom. Make sure to check that out and I'll see you guys next time with another recipe. Later folks.